Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve the server DNS address could not be found. And this might result in certain web pages displaying that a certain site could not be reached. Um, this can be very frustrating, so in this brief tutorial I'm going to be going over a way of hopefully resolving this issue for you guys. So, we're going to do a couple different things in order to accomplish our goal today. And we're going to start by heading over to the Start menu, and we're going to search up Control Panel. Windows 10 should be listed right above Desktop App. Earlier versions of Windows probably would just say Control Panel. Just left-click on that. You want to left-click on Network and Internet, assuming your View By is set to Category View. You want to left-click on Network and Sharing Center right here. Whatever connection is listed underneath Access Type, left-click on it. So underneath Properties at the bottom left, you want to left-click on that. Left-click on Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP slash IPv4. And then left-click on Properties here. Near the bottom, it should say Use the following DNS server address. Left-click on this button right here. So we're going to type in 8888, and I'm using my mouse to click in each one of these entries areas. And then the bottom one's going to be 8844. If anybody was curious, this DNS server address is a Google owned DNS server. So at this point, you would just left click on OK. Make sure you type that right. It's going to be a big issue if you don't. So 8.8.8.8 should be your preferred DNS server and 8.8.4.4 should be your alternate DNS server. So once you're done doing that, hopefully it should solve your error. However, there's one further step we can do here. Then that would be to head over to a command prompt. So we're going to right click on the start button and then left click on command prompt admin. Might get a user account control window. Select yes. Now what we want to do is type IP config space forward slash flush DNS and then hit enter on your keyboard. So this should flush our DNS resolver cache. And now we want to type IP config space forward slash renew and then hit enter on your keyboard again. All right, and then at that point, you should be good to go. You can close out of the command prompt window. I'd recommend restarting your computer after both of these methods and try to get back on the browser in between both of the methods I show in this tutorial. And then if the first method doesn't work, move on to the second one. So again, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.